folks. Brawl of the Fall continues on. Peter DeLong on the call. ETWA right here with you. And in the main event tonight, Sonny Defarge will be defending his heavyweight championship against none other than Jobs. But that is not the only gold on the line tonight, folks. As the Colony are set to defend their ETWA Tag Team Championships against these men. Judy Underwood in the red. Ethan Pradas in the black shorts, collectively known as the Lost Boys. And a bit of interesting uh, intel here. Trained by world famous CB Speedball Mike Bailey and the ETWA Heavyweight Champion Sonny Defarge. We'll have to keep that in mind as the match progresses, see if it has anything to do with uh, the approach of the challengers here. But regardless of that, the champions are here, folks. Many successful defenses under their collective belts. The Colony have been completely dominating the tag team division here at ETWA. They've been asking for any and all challengers. Which is what uh, attracted the attention of the Lost Boys. Electro Ant and Ultimo Ant wanting to prove themselves worthy of holding those titles. Of being the flag bearers of the ETWA tag team, tag team division. And they have certainly been doing that since the beginning. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the ETWA Tag Team Championships. Introducing first, the challengers. Coming from wherever they wake up, weighing in at, they're not sure, the back Great kid, Aphid Promise, and the fire starter, Judy oh, yeah. Underwood, the Lost Boys. And introducing their opponents. In this corner, they are the reigning defending champions from the Ant Hill. At a combined weight of 360 pounds, Electro Ant, Ultimo Ant, The Colony. And there you have it, folks. Clear. Clear whose corner the ETWA faithful are, are in. Definitely been looking forward to this. Underwood and Promise are two very talented individuals. The only problem is they've been in the business for, for such a short time and they've had far too many people tell them too often how good they are and it's gone completely to their head. The egos on these kids are, and you can see it a mile away. Arguably the source of their downfall from time to time, but right now they look incredibly focused. We'll see what their game plan is here against the ETWA. Hold on a second. What the? Oh! They hit it right up the bat. Holy smokes! That was almost it. Couple of kicks to the cranium of, of Electro and ultimately I'm barely able to stand on his own accord there. Powering through, able to shake. 
shake off the effects of Waterland. But you gotta believe Ultimo Man is definitely not at 100% after, after the start of that match. Stomp to the foot, quick arm drag. Oh! Look at the tag team maneuvering on these two. The Lost Boys not claiming to uh, to, to have a, a flag stuck in the ground of any particular area. No, uh, no promotion or school to call home. Just moving from place to place, trying to uh, to leave their mark as it, on as many territories as possible. And man, I'll tell you, when you start a match off like that, you're definitely going to be able to leave your mark. Those antenna now. Ethan Promise now tagged in. Ultimo and sent to the ropes. Side backbreaker by the backbreak kid. Oh, double stomp to the back as well. Pulling him to, pulling him in. Goes to the cover. Not enough. And normally I would say it's going to take a lot more than that to take uh, uh, Ultimo out and out, but with the start of the match being, being that Ultimo had fell victim to the finisher of, of, uh, of the Lost Boys, anything is possible right now. Ultimo Ant could be fighting through some excruciating pain right now and could give out at any moment. Oh, what a lung blower. the cover. Not enough. Electrian was ready to jump in the ring there. Break that up. Luckily, not needed. Ultimo Ant able to get the shoulder up on his own accord. But Ethan Promise continuing until that. Ultimo Ant trying his best to create some separation there, but Ethan Promise just relentless. Judy Underwood, a fire starter on the outside. Get him! Hold on a second. Ethan Promise just went outside to argue with some fans. Underwood just came in to lay the boots so while he was doing so. Underwood is not the legal man. There was no official tag there. They're doing this just so Ethan Promise can go outside and argue with the fans. Well, I'll tell you, that's smarter than a lot of people that like to argue with the fans. They'll go out there and then let their opponent uh, recuperate while it goes on. Not in this case. Underwood made sure that wasn't happening. And look at that tag team maneuver. Crushing blow in the corner, but still not enough to keep him down. Ultimo Ant trying his best to stay in this match. But the longer this goes on, especially with Ultimo Ant being the legal man, the closer this is to, to, to us seeing new tag team champions. Goes for the jaw now. So close to that pin, but Underwood able to toss him into the opposite corner. Oh, what's that boot? So close, don't see though to the opposite corner. Wait a minute, the way it comes through. Electro hit. Taking both members of the Lost Boys down. Oh, what a flapjack. Electro hit feeling the current run through his veins now. Reversal. Underwood. Up and over. Joanne feeling it. Needs to stay on it though. Here we go. One half of the tag team champions coming across. Was going for a tope. But Ethan Promise cut him off. At the very last moment, now hung up. Oh! 
Electra point kick and a knee to the other side of the head. Electra man is in a bad way. Here we go, leg hooked. Nearly had new ETWA Tag Team Champions here. What a way to start off their career in Vermont in ETWA that to win the ETWA Tag Team Champions championships off of the long time champions. Easier said than done, of course. The Colony have been in quite a few battles here. Definitely not their first rodeo. Nathan Promise tagged in as a legal man. Still double team maneuvers. Oh! Splash and elbow tandem offense. Goes for the cover. And just sat on the chest of Electro and paid for it within mere seconds. And now Ethan Promise wrenching back on those arms. Knee firmly placed in between the shoulder blades, opening up that chest cavity, making it difficult to take a full breath. Electro and fighting his way back up to his feet. But Promise brings him right back in and places both boots. Rapid fire kicks right in between the shoulder blades on that upper back area. Promise wisely rolling Electro in away from his corner to get the pin. Still two count only, but they are doing a very good job of cutting this ring in half. Very early on in the career, but Weisberg beyond their years. And once again, biting on those antenna. Just showing some disrespect to the ring vets. Electra trying his best to fend off Ethan Promise. Well, Promise peppering him now, putting a little pepper on it. SP, the choice for Ethan P. As a wonky, I'll work on it. Oh, big old flying forearm. Judy Underwood now in control. Bringing Electro into the corner. Up to the second rope now. These guys. Clearly, they, I mean, this, they keep going to the antenna. There's not a lot of meat on those things. So if you're hungry, you're not going to get much more. Whoa. Electro in with the quick roll up. Underwood rolling through, but catching a cutter for his troubles. Underwood knocked senseless, going from the wrong corner. Has no idea where he is. Electro in. Fighting his way to his own corner. Underwood realizing where he is. Judy finally getting that tag. Nathan Promise legal man is so is Ultimo Ant. Kicked right to the face. Tilt the world backbreaker by one half of the tag team champions. Splash in the corner. Back and forth now. Oh! Underwood was ready for him on that one. But so was Ultimo. Up to the top. Oh, what a crossbody. On the way just in time for Underwood to drop an elbow onto his tag team partner. Malfunction at the junction. Holy smokes, what a step of into Curry. Crowd firmly behind the colony. Electro and tag back in. In the gory special position, here we go! Oh, face first into the canvas, rolls him over, goes for the cover! And he got him! What a defense! It looked as though the Lost Boys had the advantage from the get-go. Ultimo Ant with Wonderland setting the stage for the 
punishment that they would be able to win. Duel out throughout, but the Colony finding a way to overcome the odds and keep those belts firmly around their own waists, continuing their tag team title reign here in ETWA. You guys made your debut back in February. You've been here every month ever since. The crowd loves you. You guys love them. That's a resounding yes. Do you have anything you want to say to the fans of ETWA Pro Wrestling? Oh. DJ. When we first came up here, we were determined to keep the legacy of the ETWA Tag Team Champions alive. We've had a long line of history with these championships. Even you have held them before. And ETWA has a long history of bringing the best competitors around. Like the ones you could just see here. Next month, we're still gonna have these titles. Just like every other month we've been here. We will not stop losing as long as you're behind us, ETWA, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Colony. Congratulations to the Colony on another successful title defense. You know, I wouldn't mind seeing Judy Underwood and Ethan Promise, the Lost Boys, coming up here and see what else they can do. But uh, they're gonna have to start from the bottom of the ladder and work their way back up, because everybody's got it for those titles. Don't go anywhere, folks. Plenty more action to come on Brawl in the Fall.